Hello, Villa Park. So happy to be speaking with you as your mayor about events and important things happening in and around our great city today. There are a few updates that I'd like to share with you. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all of our graduating students here in Villa Park. Many are graduating from various high schools and are venturing on to college and trade entities for the next step in their life. And our college grads from various schools around the country venturing out into the professional world and accepting positions in various enterprise, government, and small businesses. I wanna wish everyone great success as you take those next steps and congratulate you on your accomplishments this far. And good luck to those future uh, college grads as well. Your city council met last week with several items on the agenda. The first and most fun for me is our distinguished citizen recognition. Each month we honor one of our citizens for their contributions to our community. Over the course of the past 21 years, if you've been one of those individuals that have attended one of our many events here in the city, you can thank our next recipient for the Distinguished Citizen Award. He is one of the founding five that started and developed our Community Services Foundation. It is well known that our city does not have a Parks and Recreation Department, and since 2002, the Community Services Foundation has been instrumental in helping all of us enjoy our city even more with parades, picnics, and other events that we'll come to cherish. I really enjoyed learning so much about Bob Hunter, this month's distinguished citizen, and his life up to this point. I have known him for so many years, but learned so much about him in this discussion. He has a very, very interesting background. He is self-made, as many are here in Villa Park. He put himself through college by doing many different types of work, including being the ice cream guy selling ice cream from the back of a refrigerated pickup truck. He worked nights at a lab in a coal mine. Bob met his wife, Barbara, whom we all come to know, when they were freshmen at Westminster College. Barbara and he married in 1957 when Bob was in his second year of his master's degree program, and Barbara taught at an elementary school in a town near State College. After graduation, they moved to New Jersey, where Bob worked for 12 years in the laboratories at Col Colgate Palmolive. After that, in 1970, they moved to Michigan, where Bob became the Director of Research and Development for Amway Corporation, where he continued to develop laundry products, but other products in the consumer retail sector. I have to say I've used Amway soap for my clothes over time and become an avid believer for many years. In 1976, Bob Barber, along with the Amway's chairman of the board and his wife were at an event in Florida dancing. Bob got a tap on the shoulder from the chairman who said, come up to my suite, I have something to talk to you about. It was that night that Bob was offered the CEO position of Neutralite here in Buena Park, California. The Hunters moved from Michigan to their new home on Carolyn Circle and enrolled their three children in Villa Park schools. Karen, their eldest, and Rob, the middle child, both graduated from Villa Park High. Kristen, the youngest, went through Sierra Villa the years when the school continued through the ninth grade and then in the 10th grade at VP High School. She could not finish in Villa Park because Bob was called to Michigan to assume the position of Executive Vice President of Amway Global. Four years later, they returned to California the Hunters never considered living in any other city than Villa Park and bought their current home on Lincoln Street. Bob sat on the foundation board for 12 years. One of his first projects was to raise funding to build a town clock tower that now resides in the Ralph's parking lot. At the time, it cost $12,000 or $13,000 to build. They raised, <clears throat> raised the money through many generous donations given by those featured on the clock and the adjoining bench. He started as the foundation's treasurer and eventually became its president. In addition to Bob's service, Barbara has been a women's league and a sisters league member since moving here and has donated many hours to both organizations, including her support for the foundation events. So congratulations to Bob and thank you for your service to our community. Next, our sheriff presented a great report for the previous month. Once again, crime was almost non-existent in our city, yay. A couple of small petty, th <clears throat> petty theft crimes, that was it. Most of our crimes come from unsecured valuables in our cars, open garages, doors left unlocked and not alarmed. Please be careful and make sure we lock our cars and make sure our valuables are not in plain sight, even if automobiles are locked. I also want, us to, encourage, I also want to encourage all of us to pay close attention to our speeds in the city. It's getting warmer and our kids are playing outside and we have a lot of walkers in the city. Please be cautious. The sheriff and the fire teams also want us to be mindful of water safety and keeping our eyes on our little ones because of the possibility of drowning. Eyes on the water campaign is in effect as always. When you plan a party and children are present around water, designate someone to watch the kids. 
Things happen in a split second. Next, I'm not sure if you've tuned into our budget meetings or not. The city's in great shape financially. We'll be voting on our budget for 23-24 year in, June, in our June meeting. I encourage everyone interested to review the past meetings and join us for our June meeting when we vote. Property tax increased $84,000 over last year. Sales tax is steady and is actually 2.4% above last year. This year, we put dollars in the budget for projects for a handicap access, accessibility rents. We have a street rehab project to improve our streets. That's $1.8 million. We are partnering with uh, Orange to rehabilitate Cerebello Drive. And we have a large projects outside of our daily maintenance. I'm pleased to say that we have a decent re reserve set aside as well in case we have issues to address that are not anticipated. Uh, overall, we're in great shape for 23, 20, the year 23, 2024. And thanks to the great work that our, our team at the city, city manager's office has done to, to keep us in great shape. <clears throat> Next, we've made our final submittal to the state housing group in Sacramento and we feel good about our submittal and eventual approval. We've been progressing well with ADUs, as most of you might have seen, and we appreciate those who are building them in their backyards as well. We're not moving forward with rezoning of the pit until, we, until the state takes us next with the approval of our plan and postponement due to further clarification. I hope that my next report will be about the approved plan. Lastly, we celebrated Memorial Day this past weekend. I want to sincerely thank those in our city that served or have lost their lives in the line of duty. Our freedoms are enjoyed every day because of the sacrifice you and your family endured during time of war to keep us safe and give us freedoms that, take advantage, that we take advantage of every day. Our future can only be bright for our children and our children's children if we continue to be dominant military force in the world. We will be challenged, but because we are strong, we will prevail over our enemies. I hope this update's been helpful. I know it was a little long this time. We are constantly looking for ways to communicate with the residents of Villa Park to inform you of important events and happenings in our community that affect us all. Thank you for your time today. Stay safe, God bless you, and the city of Villa Park.